Hi everybody, it's Susan Mershon, the Techie Mentor. Thanks for stopping by for this week's video blog all about uh, titles. And the reason I want to bring this up is because there's so much misconception in the VA industry about what a VA is. Now I know I've done a video previously on what a VA is and what a VA isn't. This is kind of tied to that. And one of the things I think it's important to understand is that titles really are not important to people when you're outside of a corporate setting. I mean, in corporate, a lot of times your titles are tied to your income and they're also kind of a stature thing, right? You're a CEO or you're a COO or you're a senior project manager or whatever it is. It's not so important in the business world. What's most important to your clients and your prospects is what you do for them. You can call yourself anything you want, head diva, right? Techie guru, whatever. It doesn't matter. What matters at the end of the day is what you do for your clients. So when it comes to marketing yourself and networking, introducing yourself as a virtual assistant to me is not the best way to do things. Because A, a lot of people don't know what a virtual assistant is, or B, they make the mistake of assuming that a virtual assistant is somebody who's just administrative in nature, which I was never an admin. I was a technical VA. So the problem with the term virtual assistant is it is a very broad definition for what we do as online business workers, I would say. Some of us are managers, some of us do social media, some of us do uh, website uh, development and design, some do graphic design, some do customer service, some do project management, and the list goes on and on. So the title of virtual assistant is maybe not well known, but for those that know what a virtual assistant is, a lot of times you're automatically coined as an administrative assistant. And I don't knock administrative assistants, but most of us or a lot of us in the VA world, we don't do that. So by using the term virtual assistant or the title, I should say virtual assistant, may not be the best way to go about it. Now there are other titles out there that people are saying, well, what's the difference between a VA and an online business manager versus a project manager, right? And these are my definitions. To me, a virtual assistant is somebody who does uh, a lot of to-dos, right? They actually are the worker bees. They do all the heavy lifting and they complete tasks. Whatever the task is, whether it's social media or customer service or calendar management. And the beauty of being a virtual assistant, right, is we belong to the VA industry, but we can do whatever we want as far as helping clients run their online business. So I think of us more as online business um, supporters or managers or whatever word you want to coin. My point is don't get hung up on titles. So an OBM or an online business manager, to me, is someone who does more business management or operations, right? They, they run the back office, if you will, of an online business, even though there's not really a back office, but they make sure everything's running. Maybe they uh, manage other virtual assistants. Maybe they oversee operations um, and those type of things. So to me, that's an OBM. And there is a certification for that, but you don't have to be certified to be an online business manager. You don't have to be certified to be a VA. What matters most is the, the value that you deliver to your clients. Now, another uh, title that's out there is project manager. And I am a project manager by trade. So for me, people who say they do project management and they're also a VA, a lot of times they're not. They're an operations manager. They manage day-to-day -day operations for their clients. Billing, uh, management of resources, you know, just making sure everything's going um, wonderfully. A, project, a true project manager manages projects. They don't manage operations. Operations is something that goes on every single day, right? Or every single week, like billing, right? Or sending out broadcast. A project is something that has a beginning and end, a definite beginning and end. And project managers only manage the project for the life of the project, and then they move on to the next one. So project managers do not do day-to-day -day operations. They actually work with projects. And projects are task as well, um, as resources and resources could be people or a computer. But, so a project manager manages projects. They don't manage operations. So to me, that's a big distinction, right? Operations is something that goes on day to day and project management is only a project that has a, a specific duration, okay? A specific timeline. So again, don't get hung up on titles. Talk more about the value that you bring or the benefits that you provide. Tell them what you do for them, not your title. Because I think that, as I said, the VA term, virtual assistant, is a generic term. Now, we all belong to what they call the VA industry. And if you had to have a title, remember, you can tack anything on there. So instead of introducing yourself as a virtual assistant, introduce yourself as someone who does social media, a 
a social media manager, someone who does operations, somebody who does um, graphic design, somebody who does customer service. So stick more with what you do and get away from the titles. So thank you so much for listening to my little uh, take on VA titles. Um, I'd love to hear your comments. And if you have any questions, again, I'd love to hear those. Please feel free to leave them below, whether you're on my blog or on my YouTube channel. And please feel free to subscribe to both my blog and my YouTube channel as I release goodies every week. So thank you for your time. I appreciate it. And I'll see you next time. Bye.